Ron Ellison of the Netherlands with Parseval. And going to be very interesting to see them uh, out in the arena here. Along with uh, Laura. This was the rider expected to push Edward Gall for the gold medal at the World Equestrian Games. It wasn't to be a problem uh, with the horse. Uh, nicked its mouth, a little bit of blood seen, and the uh, horse was disqualified. Them's the rules. Yeah, it was very, very annoying because having seen this horse um, at the European Championships in Windsor, it was absolutely phenomenal and it was a lot of people's favorite and there was absolutely nip and tuck between uh, the top horses and it really did put in a good performance. So on its day, uh, Parseval, absolutely lovely, good contender. Yes, those were the days, the uh, European Championship at Windsor and 18 months ago. Total glory for Adelinda Cornelison and Parzival. Now, what might have been at the World Equestrian Games were it not for that uh, nick on the tongue. That's the way things go, especially with horses. Mm. Yes, extremely frustrating horses can be you know it's difficult to get them to peak for these sort of performances and when they do something simple like just biting his tongue and the rules are that if they see blood in the mouth they're eliminated so it's for their own good certainly if you're wondering about Anki van Grunspen well she is still out there she's in 15th place in the World Cup standings not quite the dominant force she was a, a year or two ago. Remember at the World Equestrian Games, she tried... Uh, barrel racing. Raining. Raining. Barrel, ra <laughs> barrel racing. That would have been fun. You can immediately see the expression uh, in this horse's work. As soon as he comes in, he really is a cut above some of the horses that we've seen. And he's focused on his job. He's got fantastic cadence. He's a very, very attractive horse. Good steps coming off the ground, the same height front and back, and, and that gets some high marks. All the scores, of course, out of 10, and I uh, hate to go on about Moreland's totalist, but he has scored several 10s in the recent past, and that's what everybody wants to get, and this horse is very capable of doing the same. Just to emphasize the quality once again. First time out after those World Equestrian Games and the disappointment there. I was in Stockholm in the World Cup qualifier before this one at Olympia. And they finished in, you're right, first place. Score for Catherine Haddad on Winyamaro, 74.8. So that's behind uh, Bestosheimer and behind Edward Gall. Third place at the moment. So far, Laura is the only rider to have cracked the 80 mark this evening. But uh, perhaps Parzival is going to do that because he is a super horse.
see him lengthening his stride, keeping his frame the same, but lengthening his stride underneath and then coming back to the pirouette. and supple through the half pass to the left. And he changes, makes that look smooth and effortless and equally supple to the right. that extension again you can see the evenness with the hind leg and the foreleg same height off the ground taking the same step it's where Catherine Haddon's horse just dropped a couple of the marks was a little bit reluctant in the passage to come from behind <laughs> it's amazing how this uh, dressage to music has come on. You know, one of these days we're going to see these horses doing the salsa or the hip hop. Yes. And the way they do it to the beat, I mean, that has improved a lot over the years. I mean, hence these world records that have been set in recent times. This combination back in uh, 2009 at the European Championship setting that. Uh, world record then of 84.04 and of course it's gone up into the 90s since then quite remarkable really so that was the uh, final contestant then in this competition at olympia adelinda cornelison from the netherlands is that good enough to uh, take top spot here catherine haddad with uh,